So praise the Lord. This is Street Testimonies Part 8. We got dear sister Mary Ann with us today. I'm so excited. We're here actually at the hospital today. Keep her son Homer in prayer. God's going to do a wonderful work on him and set him free from all addiction. Amen. Amen. So I was here with sister Mary Ann and she was actually sharing with me a beautiful testimony. Uh, she was asking the Lord uh, to use her and that she had set herself aside to be used by the Lord. And uh, she had six teenagers walk by her house. So sister Mary Ann, what happened? Uh, as those kids were walking by, well, I just yelled at him, hey, you've got Bibles? No, we don't uh, need a Bible. We're not Christians. I said, well, that won't make you a Christian either. It's receiving Christ as your Savior. Amen. So anyway, we were talking along there, and I I told him, I said, you know what? God isn't saving you just to go to heaven. I said, God has purpose, and you guys are kings and priests, and you got delegated power in Christ Jesus. And I started just sharing with them. Well, they took the Bibles from me. And uh, I was just sharing a little testimony about myself. And then, uh, as we were going to leave, this girl that was so hostile to me, she said, you know what, aren't you even going to pray for us? So <laughs> be ready to pray. Stay instant in season and out of season. And a few days later, there was these cable guys were laying cable underneath the round around my house. And uh, I, this one cable guy was in, in this big hole. So I looked down there and I said, hey, you got a Bible? And he said, yes, ma'am, I do. We shared Christ with each other and edified and built up and strengthened one another. It's time just to get on fire because the opportunities are there. Just don't pass them up. Amen. Amen. But so, those teenagers, hallelujah. Man, and, and so, so Sister Mar Marianne, at first, the teenagers didn't want to hear it. They didn't want to hear it. Right, right. But you were persistent. I told them. I, I, I didn't tell them they were uh, rank sinners and stuff. I told them what God's purpose was. And that was to be kings and priests unto the living God. And to carry his name. That's what we're supposed to tell them. And then they stopped and they started listening to me. Right. And I asked them if they'd like to receive Christ as their Savior. Well, I don't know. Well, come on, let's just pray that you will. So Amen. the one girl that was really hostile, it was really cute, man, because they want hugs. They're they're scared as all as a bunch of rabbits. But that's okay. We got the answer. Amen. And, and I think it's so beautiful, my sister, that obviously you asked them for Bibles. No, we don't want Bibles. Then you started sharing Christ with them. And then once you yeah. shared Christ with them. Yeah. And their purpose. Right. And their purpose in Christ. Yes. Right. So you're sharing with them. And then... Then they receive the Bibles, and then they ask you, aren't you going to pray for us? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's beautiful. We just got to be willing vessels, huh? Yeah. So now I sit on the front porch with a bunch of Bibles waiting for people to go by. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the way. Well, praise the Lord, my sister. I pray that this provokes, like it says in Hebrews 9.24, to provoke one another to love and to good works. Amen. So I pray that your testimony provokes many others who, who sit outside or even yeah. have neighbors that they would go yes, and amen. not be ashamed, but share with their yes. neighbors too the, the death, burial, resurrection of God's Son amen. and repentance and belief in Jesus Christ. Amen. Plant the seed, God will make it grow. Amen. We just got to be faithful to sow it, huh? Amen. In water. Amen. Well, God bless you, my sister. Again, everybody, please keep <laughs> dear brother uh, Homer in, in prayer. Yes. And uh, the Lord set him free from all addiction in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you, my sister. We love you and praise the Lord. Amen. Amen.